was always trying to help people with in, in raising kids. You know, now there's another, I, I think I was telling Kalyani this story. Um, so when I was in college, this is, this is mid eighties, my girlfriend in college knew that this was like a passion of mine. Yeah, I'm a chemical engineer and a chemist, but obviously that was not going to be my future. I mean, I did a lot of great things in that, but this, this stuff always interested me. And she bought me this book called Superheroes in the Doll Corner. And it's a really interesting book. This is a little book, but it's a really interesting book. This, this woman, uh, kindergarten teacher, wanted to keep a diary of her first year teaching kindergarten. Again, this is mid eighties. And she wanted to, um, she wanted to just go against stereotypes. So she wanted, what she wanted to do was she wanted to like raise all these kids in kindergarten so that, you know, they don't have any of these stereotypes. Now in the kindergarten room, they have the doll corner, you know, and then they have the superhero, you know, area. And so she's trying to get the boys to go to the doll corner and the girls to do that. And she's doing all that. But what she noticed was by the end of school year, she just failed. These kids all socialized separate. And the reason why they socialize separate is because of other kids. And what would happen is, and I, I have, I, I love talking to kindergarten teachers. Like if you like, I'll say this and, and any parent, any kid, any parent who has a kid in kindergarten is gonna go like this when I'm, when I, after what I'm about to say, but these kindergarten teachers know everything that's going on in the house. Because the girl will sit there and go to one of the boys here, come over to the kid to the kitchen area and play with us. We need a daddy. Okay, now you're gonna come home drunk and I'm gonna be mad at you. Ready? <laughs> go. Well, I wonder where she I wonder where a little five year old girl got that scenario from the play. Yeah. And so that's what's happening is is the, is you can raise your kids however you want, but the other kids are gonna socialize your kid into these stereotypes. So, we have, uh, sorry, Kalyani, do you want to speak up? Yes, I do. I love, love, love what John said. I think he is literally my superhero in every sense of the word <laughs> because he's right about how women are conditioned. Now, in my culture, a girl is only pretty if she has a fair skin. Mm. If she's not fair skinned, she's not pretty. It doesn't matter how gorgeous your eyes are. It doesn't matter anything. So we are, he's so right about that. So mm. conditioned. I was conditioned that way as well because my brother was not only smarter than me, more intelligent than me. He was just, he was a know-it-all. He just knew everything without even trying, okay? Mm. And to top it off, he was more fair skinned than I was. Mm. So I was like, it, it just came down on me. It's like, okay, you know what? Literally, mm. I mean, there's certain words in my language that just translate very badly to English, but it was implied that I was ugly because I did not have, you know, the fair, pretty skin. And what, and he's right. What it does to us women, it makes us work 10 times harder. And John will tell you women are able to do that because we can safely hold five thoughts without crashing, right? So we are literally burning ourselves out. And this is something I I talked ab uh, about at a junior school, uh, high school. <laughs> it's so funny. There's a picture of me in the yearbook. It's the first time I've made it in a yearbook when it's not a mugshot. So oh, yeah. <laughs> I talked about self-bullying and you should have seen those girls mm -hmm. sitting in that classroom. They were nodding their heads wildly. It's like, we are exceptionally hard on ourselves. What Lisa said about, you know, it's that mama bear thing. We want to protect the ones that are under our wings. That's, I'm a mama bear. It's like nobody messed with me, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm going to lead into another story. Just we're talking about how, you know, the violence and everything going on. And John knows about this. He was the first person I reached out to after this incident happened last week. I faced a road rage incident. Um, it snowed a lot here. Um, the roads were icy and I was skidding. 